He's the voice of Sounds Historical on Radio New Zealand, recently celebrated 50 years in broadcasting and knocks out a column for the Otago Daily Times. He's Jim Sullivan and he joins us tonight to tell us about his work. Good evening, Jim. Hi. Now, apostrophes, libraries and Easter drinking legislation are some of the topics that have caught your eye this year. Mm. What would you say that your column is about? Well, the crucial things are that it's about anything that can be given a lighter treatment. We take things too seriously, don't we? So the column's called Nothing Too Serious, which is really a chance to look at something and maybe turn it upside down, and maybe someone will get a chuckle. Mm. It's, all, it's all it is, yeah. Now, how did you end up writing for the ODT? Well, I was writing for the ODT before you were born, mm. as a kind of occasional items and so on. But uh, last year, Philip Somerville, a very intelligent young man, said, why don't we do more of this funny stuff? Maybe once a fortnight, something like that. So he said we could do it, nothing too serious, as I said, and that's mm. how it started. So really, it's a culmination of me having a need to have a little lighter moment in the midst of writing other stuff, which is more serious. And, of course, there's so much to write about that's so silly, isn't it? Politicians mm. and others, you know, they really need to be written about. <laughs> is there a particular columnist or writer that you look up to? I think in terms of the ODT, they're all brilliant. Gordon Parry's fantastic, 93 next month, been writing lovely pieces for 70 years or more on the, on the hour every week, nicely crafted, good stuff, yep, excellent. Now you're also well known as a broadcaster, but I understand that you've also been involved in oral history? Well, oral history was a thing that came out of broadcasting really, that's recording people's stories, don't do so much of it now, but there's a marvel hundreds, thousands of hours of marvellous history recorded, first-hand stuff. So when you're a little older, someone will come and ask you to tell them about your early days on the television. Good luck. Now, what can we expect to read in your next column? Don't know, really. There's so much funny stuff. I mean, some things are not really funny. I don't like the idea of poking fun at the St. Clair Esplanade. That's awful. You, know, well, you must have been in my mind. I was just thinking about yeah, that. Yeah, well, I mean, I think there are politicians are a fair game. You know, getting drunk and carrying on and uh, local bodies are good. You know, you can have a go at what they are doing. All in good fun and in the best of possible taste. But it's just a chance to say, yeah, let's just pour, haul off a little bit and not get too serious about it. And hopefully the people who are being lampooned or gently satirised feel, oh, yeah, that's fair enough and don't feel offended. I hope not. <laughs> we look forward to reading it. Jim Sullivan, columnist for the Otago Daily Times, among other things. Thanks very much for your time. Thanks.